musicians, and uh, we've, we've had a, a, a long uh, fall here with everything, and everybody worked so hard to pull this music together, and I really appreciate it, and I want to say how wonderful everybody sounds tonight, and uh, just acknowledge all your efforts, so thank you to the band. <laughs> and, uh, once again, uh, we wanted to thank the parents uh, for all, everything you do, for your support of uh, these young people and everything that they do, and we thank you. And I'd also like to acknowledge uh, the great crew and staff here, Alexa and Mike, for everything they do, getting this happening together. And, uh, we'd like to uh, acknowledge and uh, thank Yamaha, and uh, once again, the great Bobby Shue, ladies and gentlemen. Bobby Shue. So for this last piece, now one of the great artists though I had a chance to work for an awful lot was I worked with, with her before, when she was an opening act for a comic. Uh, and she wasn't known yet. Her name was Barbara Streisand. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I got a chance to, to do a lot of work with her and did a movie, A Star is Born. I was, I was in the movie, I played in the band in that movie. And, and it just so great to be around her and listen to her sing. She just inspired me so much, you know. I've had a mad crush on her all the time. My wife wasn't happy about that. But, <laughs> but uh, we, during the Star is Born movie, um, uh, we did this one piece. It was one of the main tunes in the movie uh, that she and Paul Williams wrote, co-wrote. And um, we must have played it a thousand times. There's a filming of that movie for nine months and stuff like that. But. Uh, I had a, a friend of mine, Bobby Ojeda, who a, was a trumpet player on uh, the Count Basie band for years. He did this wonderful little arrangement of the tune. I thought it was such a nice tune, so it would be a nice thing to do. And he did a great arrangement of it, and um, it was like a hit record for me a long time ago. I mean, everybody, this thing I was playing, it. how many times have I, I wish I had a dollar for every time I played this thing. <laughs> but I stopped playing it about five years ago. And then uh, last year somebody, forced me to dig it out of the garage and play it again. And I had kind of fun doing it. It's, um, it's a bit of a workhorse and uh, so forth. And it reminds me why I stopped playing it, actually. So, but uh, <clears throat> you want to strap yourself in on this one a little bit. So uh, we hope you enjoy um, Evergreen. Mm -hmm.